They say an apple a day keeps the doctor away. And here at Phillips Orchard in St. John's, you might never have to visit the doctor. We're seeing what this orchard does during the summer season and what you can look forward to for the fall. For more than 170 years, Phillips Apple Orchards has been standing tall. Every tree I plant, I know is going to be here after I'm long gone. Co-president Brian Phillips is the current generation of the farm right off of 127. And he's always keeping an eye on the next one. We prune it bad or we do something that we wish we hadn't done. Um, we're going to see it next year and we're going to see it the year after that. So it's just that longevity and that continuity year to year. Years of those efforts are starting to be seen today with a new season underway. We actually are right at the very beginning of apple season, and most people don't think of apples in July. There are just a very few really early apples that are in late July and early August. But this year, those early season apples didn't come without worry. June was super dry, as everyone knows, and that was making us concerned. The good thing about apple trees is they're fairly deep roots, so they can hold out for a while, If and uh, with this recent rain we've gotten, that's really made us uh, pretty optimistic on how the crop is going to look this year. So if you're in the mood to start your fall season early, Phillips invites you to come see what they have to offer. We have cider year round. Um, we press cider for about six months of the year and then the other six months we freeze thousands of gallons of cider so that we can have it for the other six months. So we always have cider. We make cider donuts every day of the year. Cider slush is a huge thing this time of year because it's cold and refreshing on a hot summer day. One place where for 170 years, you've been guaranteed to find the apple of your eye. Russell Shelberg, Fox 47 News.